There's no point in talking about Linux if I can't edit my videos and record them. Linux. I would say the Windows counterpart would be Sony Vegas Pro, and that's saying a lot. Kaden Lai, 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 Lai. End of January 2013, and there's our bog filter. How cool is that? No pun intended with the ice melting and breaking up in there. Awesome. Still going like the Energizer freaking bunny. Would you believe it's the end of January and 65 degrees out? Even with all this rain coming down, and it's been dim all day. felt like spring. See, with all this crap coming down, it feels beautiful outside. It's amazing. Although I was out there when it wasn't coming down. Eater. He's about two feet long at least. Sucking the food right up off the top. Oh, there he goes. He may or may not pop back up. It took a break for a while.
good downpour. Holy crap. Here's our big ginormous algae eater again. And there you go. And there he is again in the corner. See his mouth at the top there, swimming down. They seem to take a bit off the top and then they go down and then they circle around for the next spot they want to target. And then they come back up, take a little bit more off the top. Here he comes. He's found his next spot. We have more than one of these guys in here, by the way. Got at least two, maybe three. Here he is back again. Oh, and he dived out of there again. Okay, I've temporarily cut power to some of the pumps so that it's not as loud. I can't do that with everything. But um as you may or may not know, water hyacinths they tend to be a real bitch to breed indoors, especially when you don't know how to do it. That seems to be like one of the big secrets of this stuff, quote unquote. Because if you do a Google search for things like raising water hyacinths indoors and so on and so forth, um, you're going to find a lot more people asking that question and saying, mm, I don't fucking know, then you are going to find the answers. Well, I found the answers. It took me a while. And I just want to show you. So it's actually very simple. Alright, one of the first main things is this shit. This, right here, is a vitamin supplement, um, comprehensive supplement from the Planet Aquarium to flourish by Seachem, S-E-A-C-H-E-M, uh, net uh, 500 milliliters, 16.9 milliliters, et cetera, et cetera. Um, this supplements the vitamins and minerals, and it, yeah, minerals that they would um, normally get outside, but they don't get inside. Without this, the immune system of the water hyacinth is going to go straight into the shitter. And there's these um, little bacteria, little microscopic bugs, that normally are, high, are harmless to the water hyacinth. Because the structure of the water hyacinth is able to withstand it, they can't eat through it. Well, as the water hyacinth's health goes down, the material becomes more soft and then they can eat through it and it just becomes incredibly nasty so definitely um, vitamin supplement the next big thing is going to be full spectrum lighting um, this lighting is on a timer that's why it's not on right now um, it'll be on when the timer engages it but um, this is a Philips bulb, fluorescent bulb, full spectrum lighting. So that is the, the second mandatory point. Now the main trick seems to be a lot of light or close light. These are special uh, grow bulbs. Um, Welcome to our storehouse of a zillion freaking light bulbs. Um, that I'm talking about. Called Hot Light. Grow better. 
Hot light. Grow better for healthier plants. Eco-friendly energy saving. Lasts up to seven years. 20 watts replaces 75 watts. LED are okay. They seem to be a bit more expensive. This is cheaper. An LED bulb of this equi equivalent is going to cost you 40. This costs me 20. Kind hearts are the gardens. Kind thoughts are the roots. Kind words are the flowers. Kind deeds are the fruits. Take care of your garden and keep out the weeds. Fill it with sunshine, kind words, and kind deeds. Hmm. Never seen that on a light bulb before, I can say that much. These are plant lights. I got one there. Um, this is doing real good. This is doing okay, not as good. I have one there. Um, and we have our lighting system up here, just generally. When we tried putting the water hyacinth in the pond, and even up in those, even with these, it started dying, it wasn't enough. Um, so I would have either needed to move this closer to the hyacinth or add more of these bulbs. Well, for the pond setup, moving things closer is not feasible. So we're going to be adding more. So that's definitely more feasible. And of course, here's the hyacinth. Um, we did not start with this many. We've had these, this in here since, um, like October, November, something like that. And now, like, in a couple of days, it's going to be February. So, yeah, that was 2012 going into 2013. And, um, it's been really great for our baby guppies, too. Um, similarly to in the pond, um, the babies can hide within the roof structure. So, you know, it's pretty badass. We only started with a few water hyacinths. And it's just been multiplying like crazy up in here. Which in the past, I wasn't able to get it multiplying. It, it was hard enough just to keep it from dying. Um, so yeah, as, as you can hopefully see, there's a new piece growing up over there. Hopefully you can see the root structure and it's trying to jump right out of the freaking tank with its new one there. So um, these things are definitely prospering. Okay, the next point is that um, water hyacinths are very efficient for uh, for cleaning aquatic environments. They suck in and store a lot. With that said, you're going to need as good a filtration as humanly possible and or lots of frequent water changes because um, what will happen if you don't do that is too much stuff will build up in, in the tank. And it's like the equivalent of overfeeding the plant. Kind of like if you if you overfeed a plant with plant fertilizer, the fertilizer will then actually kill it because it's way too much at once. So it's the equivalent of overfeeding the plant. Now, what we have primarily, um, we have uh, gravel filters. Um, got the gravel and the padding. Um, these are above ground filters, above gravel filters. They do a very good job. And we also have um, your little... Um, oh, it's, it's such a pain in the ass to see, but we got the little mount filter on the back there. So, as heavy a filtration as you possibly can. Lots of water changes. 
full spectrum lighting and the um, plant fertilizer. I bought that on uh, on Amazon.com because it was cheaper for more. So there we are. <laughs>